Hey, 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 Rebels! Thank you so much for joining me today. Today we are doing something very, very special and close to my heart. Um, I love L.J. Smith. She's a fantastic author, and one of her books, Daughters of Darkness, is the second book in the vamp or not the Vampire Diaries, excuse me, the Nightworld series. Um, and we are making the Three Daughters of Darkness. So we're making Rowan, Kestrel, and Jade today. Um, and I hope Lisa watches this. And if she does, Lisa, this is for you and all you do for your fans. We love you so much. So thank you so much. Um, so we are starting on Jade right now. And she's described um, as blonde. And her personality is... And she's just, excuse me, she's described as blonde and she looks like she's always serene, but she almost never feels like it. So, um, we are just making her right now. Um, I, when I picture her, I picture her very, um, light, very hopeful, very, um, because she's the youngest, uh, sister. I picture her almost innocent, um, like she's only 16. She's very hopeful, yet she is a vampire. All the three sisters are. Um, so that's really, really exciting to me now that we have the vampire um, option. So we are just going through and finding her hair. And then we are going to um, go ahead and fix her face. Um, I always kind of pictured Jade's hair just very, very long, very flowing down the back. Um and it describes her hair as, the book uh, describes her hair as uh, she likes to hide her face behind it when she's nervous or just in general. So um, the one thing I do wish is I wish we had pets right now because I would totally make the cat that Jade kind of adopted, um, Tiggy, and I would... I would love to do that. That would be so much fun. I could totally see um, her doing that. And then we're going in and we're trying to pick out a different trait because I just, she is innocent, but I felt like there should be something better to describe her. I do turn, she is a teen. All three of the girls are teens. I did start to make on Opal and uh, the Redfern sisters' mothers her mother, but um, I ended up deleting both of them because of the pure fact that there was really no point to make them. I did want to make Keep On Opal, but in order to make her an aunt, I had to make their mother. And their mother is never described. Actually, If I remember correctly, and Lisa, I am so sorry if I get this wrong because it's been like three years since I read those. Um, I believe that she sent them off or abandoned them. I'm not sure. I don't think they're, she's a big part of the girls' lives. So, um, and Lisa, if I get that wrong, I'm so, so sorry. I still love you. <laughs> um, and I'm just trying to find something for Jade to wear. Um, the whole premise of this is um, I'm on L.J. Smith's official forum and me and several of the other girls had started um, making Sims character or er, L.J. Smith's characters uh, on The Sims 2. And I was just reminiscing on the forum the other day and... Um, came across that post and kind of re-inspired me a little bit. So, and now with the vampire pack, um, I can accurately make the burdock farm, which is so exciting because, um, in the book, the bur the burdock farm is described as falling apart and, um, you know, there's holes in the floor. So, um, even though I can't do hose on the floors, I, we have that extra oomph now to make it a little more, um, a little more creepy. Uh, so that's really exciting to me. 
um, and I really got inspired to remake them on The Sims 4. Um, I always picture Jade as very angelic. Um, I don't picture her with a lot of like heavy makeup. I honestly, um, in the book, I honestly only picture her with eyeliner and a natural blush. Like the blush that she, that I put on her in the game right now is how I would picture her skin tone to naturally be. So it's not even that I even picture her with blush. Um, but uh, I feel like she's she's the kind of the fun loving of the three sisters. Rowan and Jade are a little bit um, more realistic in the world and she's Jade definitely has her head in the clouds and as a dreamer myself I can definitely appreciate that I have to say Jade is probably out of the three sisters probably my favorite just because I can relate to her so much so we are just going through and doing nightwear and I really wish they had more options like they have sexy nightwear and then they have weird like because I, I weird nightwear like it's not <laughs> I want like an in-between like I liked those shorts but I wish they had been more like booty shorts but I, I don't know guys I don't know um so I am so sorry if I'm offending you Lisa <laughs> uh, but this is we're just going through and doing her party wear and I really really liked that that um pink skirt but there wasn't really a color that matched with the top that I wanted because I always like the darker on the bottom and the lighter on top but you can't go really much lighter than light pink so I did with what I could but um and then we're just doing a little bit of her makeup, and then we're going into swimwear, and then we will be on to Rowan, I believe. Um, so that'll be good. Um, I'm trying to figure out... Um, it was funny in The Sims 2 because... Okay, if you've played The Sims 2, you know that it's not easy to customize your character. And they made it so much easier in The Sims 3, and then... In The Sims 4, it's like so impossibly fast. Um, so, actually, Rowan and Jade had two of the uh, same faces because I was not good with the sliders at the time. And I'm frankly, I am still, I'm, I'm pretty good, but it takes me like three hours to do one face um, in The Sims 3. But they also gave you a lot of more uh, customizable options. So in the books, Rowan is described as having dark brown hair and amber eyes. And I really, really enjoyed, because um, aesthetically, I love her look the best. Um, but personality-wise, I do love Jade better. Um, if I remember correctly, Rowan is the oldest. Is she the oldest? Yes, she's the oldest. And she is described as being... Always being kind when she can be. Um, she is kind of the leader of the group. She's... Um, I don't know how to describe it. Um, she's kind of the mother figure. Uh, she kind of steps in when they need a mother figure. And I think she does a really good job with it. Um, I was just trying to... I wanted each of them to have custom content hair and stuff. Um, I just... I like the aesthetic of that. And then... I think we ended up with this and there was a reason why I picked it and I can't remember what it was but um, 
we're just doing her eyes now and then um actually with a lot of these girls i didn't have to change much which was really nice um because sometimes you get a sim and you're just like whoa like what is going on with you you need so much help <laughs> like, but luckily i did not change her I have to change any of them too much um i do believe i made her a good vampire um just because she always tries to be kind she always tries to be um you know give people the benefit of the doubt she tries to um be the mediator she's the mediator of the group i guess too so um, <laughs> one of these days I want to try out that trait, that pyromaniac trait. Um, and I do have a lot of these traits. I do, uh, custom content traits. Um, I can't wait for the new, uh, game pack, by the way, guys. I was so excited, but I have to wait till, uh, the first, uh, cause I is poor. I have $4 in my bank account right now. <laughs> I do not have the money to uh get it on the 30th so um <laughs> uh which i i guess it's not too bad to wait till the first but um yeah i'm really excited about all the new like i feel like that i i hope that they do the prom but i hope they almost expand on it like brit pinky sims did um with the gaming uh mod for the prom mod that would be so much fun um Let's see, I'm trying to, I had a hard time dressing Rowan, uh, cause I felt like she would be very sensible, but at the same time, modern. I, I, it, it was a weird balance to, for me to try and figure it out because I usually go one way or the other. Um, usually I do jeans and a t-shirt, uh, don't do makeup. So I am very, yeah. And then I think we ended up going with this and I do picture her in something like this um, but I picture her kind of hiding her hands a lot um, so that was uh, definitely excuse me guys um, that was and then I picture her in black I picture her in black or like really sensible no nonsense stuff i think i did theme her black a lot for her outfits um i don't know if that was just intentional or if that's kind of just what happened when i did it um and then we're going into makeup and i think we do like a little bit more of a bold look for her just because she is the oldest i believe and if not i'm sorry lisa i'm sorry um it is she is the oldest and um Therefore, she would definitely have that uh, bolder look. Um, I, so I had to try that on because it was, yeah, we're not going with that today, though. Uh, I love that dress. I want that dress. Except I would do black and red. <laughs> so, I, I, yeah, I'm nuts, guys. Um, I thought that was really cute on her. I did. I thought that was, like, super adorable. Um, I don't know if we end up going with the, we do, we end up going with one of those collars, uh, chokers. Um, and then, we are just going to go in with some eyeliner, and I don't think I do blush on her. Um, I think it's, it just, it looks like it's too much. Uh, I am going to change that color, um, lipstick though. Cause that lipstick I just realized does not match uh, the outfit so we are gonna do that and workout I keep it really simple black on black um, change your shoe size because I love that feature uh, who else loves that feature I love that feature pick me um, so we are just going into sleepwear and if I remember correctly, do we do, yeah, we do underwear and something like, oh, we do, eh, I, oh, we do that, we do that. Um, and I, and actually I really liked this outfit for Jade, um, or I'm sorry, for Rowan, so I didn't do much with it. 
uh, I changed the boots and put on the makeup and that was seriously it because I felt that it fit kind of her uh, personality already so I didn't want to change and make things worse so um oh, I love that color on her that looks so stunning um so we're just gonna do the swimwear and then we're going to Kestrel um and Kestrel's kind of the spitfire of the group she's very um sarcastic and witty and uh, the book actually describes her as um she's never kind um so it's it's interesting um and then sh her hair is described as cinnamon or old gold colored with cinnamon eye um cinnamon colored eyes so um which is where cc comes in <laughs> uh cc yeah, CC comes in with this. So we are just going to do her hair. Um, and it's described like it fe kind of feathers back. Like I, I kind of picture like a, um, oh, what's her name? Like a Sarah Fawcett kind of look where it feathers back from like the 70s. Or a Farrah Fawcett? Farrah Fawcett, which it's, it feathers back from the 70s, like in the 70s look where everything was feathers, uh, uh, so feathered hair, feathered everything. But unfortunately, I didn't have anything that looked like that. So we end up going with something a little bit similar, but still very kestrel. Um, and it's described as her eyes are very sharp um, and hawk-like, almost like, just like the bird she was named after. Um, so... Oh, I just realized, Lisa, I just realized Rowan, Kestrel, and Jade. Rowan is a tree, Kestrel is of the air, and Jade is of the earth. So what would Ash, would Ash be water? They have a brother, so. That was kind of smart. <laughs> I don't think, Ash, isn't that a tree though? Okay, I'm sidetracking, guys. Rowan, Kestrel, and Jade. Uh, you just need one of the, uh. One of the water now so that was actually very smart um so props to you lisa uh took me way too long to register that <laughs> i'm sorry uh so we are just going in and making her sarcastic and i think sassy is the other one we made her um and I didn't go into their vampire forms because I wanted their vampire forms to look exactly like their regular forms. Because um, Lisa doesn't do creepy vampires. Lisa does... Lisa does... I can't even describe what Lisa does. It's awesome, though. Um, but she doesn't do the modern creepy vampires. So we... I appreciate that. I love that dress. Totally not for Kestrel though, but I love that dress. That dress is so cute. <laughs> so we are just going and getting her outfit ready. And I do believe we stick with that top. I love that top. Um, and I don't know why, but I felt like this fit Kestrel. Um, and we didn't mess with her, her formal wear at all because yeah, we didn't. Uh, yeah, so. Okay, guys. Well, uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. This is where I leave you. You guys have a wonderful day, night, morning, noon, wherever you are in the world. And Lisa, this one is for you. Bye.